back again with another video guys and the daily free ping diamonds continue in NBA 2k23 my team and if you love free stuff you already know what to do smash that like button for me right now because 2k actually ended up surprising us with a really good player however though with this new free ping diamond I'm kind of worried but also excited for the free galaxy opal that we're getting and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about now at the moment if you do log in you end up getting some free MT so if you want 250 it's not much you know it's really nothing but at the same time though it is free and we love free stuff out here so we'll claim that right there 250 mt and now we got to talk about this new free ping diamond because i'm excited for the player because he's a good one but also a little worried for the galaxy opal and let me show you guys what i'm talking about so at the moment when we go into the agendas you guys can see right here season agendas we go down here to the happy holidays and 2k ended up adding a new free ping diamond remember we had john stockton we also had bradley beal and now we got ourselves a free ping diamond jjj out here oh my goodness bro i will say i'm super excited for this player because he's a 6 11 power forward slash center and by the way guys i'm very curious to know who's your best big guy that you have in my team like your best center or power forward let me know down below in the comments i'm very curious to know and i'm kind of surprised that they gave us a power forward center because i really thought they were gonna go you know point guard then shooting guard then small forward but like for some reason 2k doesn't want to give us like a natural small forward have we even okay we've gotten a couple but these have been undersized and so I was really expecting maybe a 6'8", six, 6'9", six, small forward. But instead, we got a 6'11", power forward center, which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of worried about the Galaxy Opal that we're getting. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. But first, though, if you do want to get him right now, you do have to go out there and get 40 blocks over multiple games. Now, when it comes to blocks, just make the CPU drive to the basket and then switch over to like a center or somebody long and then just block them going to the challenges. You can definitely get it done. You guys know me. I'm going to be comboing all these together because I feel like 2k is gonna be cheesing us with like the final final players that we're getting which again we are getting a pink diamond every single day up until friday we already got these three pink diamonds and then also the other pink diamonds so right now your team should be looking way better especially if you're a no money spent or budget type player or maybe you just need some new cards and so jjj right here is a new one i do want to take a look exactly what we're working with when it comes to him so let's go over here to the collection and let's go to season three the galaxy opal right here baby so bradley beal john stockton and now jjj I want to see right here, man. He's always usually pretty good in my team. And it's funny because usually he ends up getting a reward card every year. I'm pretty sure we had him last year. So he is 6'11". That's a W in my opinion, bro. 6'11", 242 pounds. And I do want to see the stats out here too. So he's got an 83 three-pointer an 85 driving dunk he's got himself you know the ball handling is definitely low but he has a power forward center so it's expected he does also come with an 80 steal a 98 block though and 93 interior defense yo he's out here playing defense i like it okay okay the rebounding definitely could have been higher in my opinion same with the speed you know 77 yeah you see this is what i mean you can tell that 2k kind of made him you know nothing too crazy by any means but it's still a really good card but at the same time though we're gonna be getting that galaxy opal that's gonna be basically the same position the only difference at the moment is that this one is 6 11 and that's why i'm a little worried about the galaxy opal but let's keep going with the stats and so 82 lateral quickness right here the stamina is 95 that's great strength is 85 vertical is 85 too so definitely a very good card especially as a free player now i will say something that i noticed was the fact that you guys can see right here let me see if i can find it and there we go i found it so take a look at that right there foul tendency is a 99 i just thought it was funny they did that because in real life this man be fouling like crazy too so you know it does make sense so definitely keep that in mind too 99 foul tendency but i do want to talk about the galaxy opal too actually wait i gotta see the badges what are we working with eight hall of fame badges he's got aerial wizard post pen technician vice grip anchor post lockdown pogo stick he's got workhorse box out beast acrobat back down punisher bully definitely a great batch right there he's got master two posterizer oh yeah he's gonna be a great uh, you know budget power forward center for everybody catch and shoot and even if you don't need one you're gonna get it anyway because you want that free galaxy opal clamps glove interceptor rebound chaser brick wall so definitely a very good free you know power forward center and my favorite thing about him is the fact that he's 6 11 so if you're running a 6 11 power forward that's going to be great and so that is going to be the new free pink diamond today that's going to be jared jackson jr now i do want to talk about the free galaxy opal that we're getting for completing this collection as you guys know it is going to be a free galaxy opal bam at bio now the thing about bam is that he's 6 9 and so i'm assuming that he's also going to be a power forward slash center right because you know that's just the position he plays but now i'm a little worried because now that they gave us 
you know, a free pink diamond, Jaron Jackson Jr., are they going to juice, you know, the Galaxy of Obama? Are they going to make him as good? Because you might even argue that he might already be almost better than Bam. So I'm kind of like confused as to what 2K is going to do with him. So I'm kind of worried, but also I'm excited because if they're giving us a Jaron Jackson Jr. now at, at 611, then the Galaxy Oppo Bam's got to be way better, right? I feel like that just makes sense. And so Bam had a bio right here. You guys can see this Sapphire one play center. Now the Galaxy Oppo one better play power forward slash center. Or maybe 2K if they want to, you know, 2K. I'm telling you right now, if you want to really give us a big fat W, make him a small forward. Ooh, that would that would be nasty, bro. A small forward, Bam. I don't think they would do it, but that'd be great. And you guys can see it right here. He's 6'9". So he's going to be two inches shorter than um Jaron Jackson. So, like, are you going to run him at the 4 and then Jackson at the 5? Or are you... You know what I mean? That's why I feel like it, it was kind of strange, but also a surprise why 2K dropped a Jaren Jackson because the Galaxy Oppo is going to be the same position. I really thought they were going to go with a small forward. That way we can combo them together. And so I'm definitely, uh, you know, I'm interested to see exactly how good they're going to make him. Because, again, don't forget that 2K has been releasing these agendas too. And so um, with the Beyond Level 40s, and so now you're gonna have, you know, Jaron Jackson, you're gonna have Sean Kemp, and then you're gonna have Bam. And so you're gonna be having three power forward slash center players. And I'm just kinda, I'm a little confused because why are we getting, you know what I mean? Like, why are we getting so many big guys? We, we should have gotten a small forward somewhere. That's why I always thought the Happy Holidays player was going to be a small forward Galaxy Opal 2. And so I'm just a little confused as to why 2K just keeps giving us so many power forward slash centers. And it's the same thing with shooting guards too. Like we've gotten so many shooting guards like Harden, Michael Cooper, you know, Mike Miller. We've gotten Jerry. We've gotten, you know, Bradley Beal. Don't get me wrong. I love this event, Big Fat W. I love the fact that we're getting daily free pink diamonds and all these free players. I just kind of wish we could also get some variety in the players as well. You know what I mean? I just feel like we've gotten so many power forwards. So many centers and so many shooting guards. Are they the same height? You know, Batman and Sean. Let's see. Let's take a look. Power forward center, six set. Okay, so he's going to be one inch, you know, taller than him. Yeah, so that's going to be three power forwards last centers. Oh my goodness. So we're going to be getting Galaxy Opal Sean Kemp. We're going to be getting Galaxy Opal Bam. We're going to be getting, or we already have the Pink Diamond, uh, you know, Jaren Jackson once we get the vlogs. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. Like, do you see my reasoning why I'm kind of like a little shocked, but also kind of worried? And I'm just really hoping that this means that they're going to be juicing Bam, okay? I'm hoping they make him really good, but I'm a little worried. And so we'll see what happens. Regardless, though, go get the new free Pink Diamond, guys. 40 vlogs. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Leave a like on the video. Help me out by subscribing to the channel. And definitely check out the super packs that I ended up opening. You will not believe what I pulled. Also, check out the other free players we got. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.